This is the view looking south after the bushes were cut back on November 13th. And this is the view looking north. This is the view from my own vehicle as I pull up and look to the left. As you can see, you can see all the way to the top of the hill on McNeil unobstructed. And here, in a continuous shot, I get out of the vehicle and turn around and show how far I've pulled up. Actually, I pulled up a little further than most drivers do. Again, a shot showing that both lanes of traffic are clearly viewable. The following shots are cars that just pulled up at random. I just wanted to see how far they actually pull in order to see to the left and feel safe about making that turn. None of the cars that came by while I was shooting pulled up even as far as I pulled up my own. This person is waiting for traffic to pass so that they can cross the street into AGB. Obviously at this point, this person is able to see the inside lane. Again, the view is unobstructed. This view from across the street shows that I cut the bushes all the way back to the sidewalk and planted them originally in accordance with rules that the corner be left unplanted. On November 17th, I received this letter from Pat of the Mud Board. Pat enclosed this photograph contending that the front of her vehicle was at the line where the curb is when it was taken. No vehicle has a distance of more than seven feet between the front bumper and the back of the driver's seat. Her photograph was actually taken about twice that distance around 15 feet from the curb line. This is the actual view on Monday, November 24th with a vehicle parked at the curb line. As you can see, the view is clear all the way up the street.